Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first on my, my channel. I'm going to do a will I buy it or a shopper pass or whatever you want to call it. Um, Samantha March was the first person I think to come up with this concept and there's been many people that has done it since then and I think it's nice to get different people's perspectives on the things that they're looking at on the market and whether they want to purchase them or not. So there is a lot this week with it being the new year. Uh, we see a lot of releases. I have my handy notebook here with myself, some notes and my phone. I'm going to be looking on Trend Moods um, Instagram and also brands themselves Instagram. So the first thing that I didn't even have on my list, I compiled this list yesterday. And since then, there has been four things added just since yesterday. So, um, the first thing is from Becca Cosmetics, um, and it says it's available now. There is um, a light shifter doing tint, and I will pop pictures up here. Um, there is a tinted moisturizer that eliminates skin with an ultra dewy finish. Um, there's also, let's see, it looks like it's going to be $30, and there's a range of skin tones, it says, or um, sheer coverage and flexible shades that work on a range of sheer, of skin tones. Uh, the skin tones that they have listed here looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if that's all. I'm, that's just all I'm seeing. The second product that they are um, dropping is a finishing veil. It's a light shifter finishing veil. It's a weightless setting powder with a filtering effect and a satin finish. It has hyaluronic acid and crystallized licorice and green tea. Uh, the pigments absorb and reflect light to diffuse and illuminate the skin. It gives a satin finish. That's going to be $34. And they have... One, two, three, four, five, six shades in that. Um, and that is all that Becca is coming out with. I don't know that I am interested in the foundation because I have a ton of foundations. And that's one thing I'm going to try not to get a whole lot of this year or at least until I... I need to go through and kind of get rid of my collection some. So I'll probably pass on that right now. However, the powder, I think I might be interested in. I do not think that I will want the um, doing tint. Um, that just doesn't look like something that is up my alley right now. But I think the finishing powder may be something that I look at. Um, the next thing on my list that I just added today is from Rare Beauty. And it looks like this in collection, this in collection, this collection includes a um, melting cream blush that's going to be $21. It kind of looks a lot like those ones that Too Faced used to have to me. Um... It's going to come in one, two, three, four, five shades. Nearly apricot, apricot, which is a muted coral. Nearly neutral for a soft neutral pink. Nearly rose for a true pink. Nearly mauve for a true mauve. And nearly berry for a deep berry. Um, it's a liquid-like cream blush that melts into the skin, melts into a second skin for the most natural-looking wash-off soft focus color. Um, then she's going to have some glossy lip balms for $18, hydrating, non-sticking, and uh, long-lasting. Uh, nearly apricot. It seems like they're going to have the exact same colors in the lip glosses that they do the blushes, so you can coordinate that. And they're going to have liquid eyeshadow for $20. And it looks like they're going to have nearly berry, which is a rich berry. Nearly mauve, soft mauve, nearly rose, soft tea, rose pink, 
nearly neutral, a warm neutral beige, and nearly apricot for a soft coral. Um, they're going to have an eyeshadow brush for $15, and this all launches today, tomorrow, on Sephora. Um, I think I'll probably pick up a blush. I have two of her liquid blushes. Um, and some of the eyeshadow sticks, uh, I am interested in, but I don't think I will get any of the lip glosses. Uh, lip products is another thing that I have a ton of right now, and with wearing masks and things, I just don't see the point in purchasing them right now, um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, the next thing on my list is from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, she has, and this is available now, a Magic Cream Moisturizer in a Lucky Red and Gold Starburst design for $75. And then she has Kissing Lipsticks for $28. They're gold-studded, Lucky Red packaging. She has Sweet Blossom, which is a moisturizing rusty rose. Lucky Cherry, a matte bright cherry. And Rose Wish is a muted matte brick red. And these are coming soon to Nordstrom is all that I see on, um, when they're going to be at Nordstrom, but it says that they're available now on Charlotte Tilbury. And I don't think I'll be picking any of those up. I'm not really interested in those. So now starts the list that I had acquired and, and done yesterday. So the first thing is from Anastasia um, Beverly Hills. This is going to be released on January the 11th. There is a brow freeze a highlighter called Iced Out, uh, a crystal gloss, and a melt, or uh, no, that, that's it that she's going to have, sorry. So the brow freeze is going to be $23. It's supposed to lift, tame, and sculpt your brows. The highlighter is going to be $34. It's a multi-dimensional wet effect. Um, the powder looks like liquid. The shade is going to be a universal so you can use on the face and the body. You can use it wet or dry. It's just multi-use. And then the crystal gloss is clear with a peach scent. So um, I think I'm probably interested in the brow freeze. Um, the highlighter is a maybe for me. And the lip gloss is again a no. The next products is from Melt Cosmetics. These are coming soon. It's all I had. And it is called the Blueprint. They had the Blueprint Stacks. This is the same, but they're putting it in a palette. So it's from the stack form. Um, and then it's eight blue and bronze colors is what's going to be in there. And there's two gel liners, a deep blue matte and a reflective finish. So that's part of that collection. Then on January the 7th, BH Cosmetics has got some things coming out. This is new additions to their um, travel series. Uh, they have Lost in LA. It's a 16 matte shimmery and metallic finishes for $17. They have a Prise in Aspen for $17. It's six. This is a highlighter. It's six iridescent shades and finishes. Um, these pinks, blues, and holographic type highlighters, I think, are going to be big again in 2021. So, um, I remember when they were big a few years back, and they're, they're making a comeback. So, that's probably why we're seeing that. Um, Travel Series 7-Piece Brush Set for $20. It has a combination of face and eye with a bag. Um, I might be interested in the eyeshadow palette. I have enough brushes. Um, if I pick up any brushes, I want it to be something unique. I've been looking at the Rare Beauty brushes just because I don't have anything in my collection like those. Um, but I'm I'm not saying that I'm dying to get this eyeshadow palette, but it may be something that I get. Let me know if that's something that you guys would like for me to get and um, do on my channel. Uh, I don't think that I'm interested in the highlighter. I have kept some of those iridescent highlighters, so I have enough in my collection that I don't need these. So, I think I'm good on that front. So, the next thing is from um, the Huda a Beauty Skin line, Wishful Skin. And it's called Thirst Trap Juice. Uh, this is going to be $47. It's out now. It has HA3s, peptides, and firming peptides. 
I'm not really interested in that. Um, I have so much skincare that I need to go through now and try. It takes forever, it seems, to go through skincare, and then I get skin skincare scent, and um, I, I have a tub waiting for me, and I'm so afraid it's going to go bad before I ever get to try it. So, I don't buy a whole lot of skincare unless it's purchasing my holy grail again or something that I really, really, really want to try. Um, next, surprise, surprise, is a ColourPop release. This comes out tomorrow. They are $10 each, and it's a five-pan palette. It reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. palettes that came out. So there are, um, looks like, five of the five-pan palettes. Lyric is a bronzy neutral. Crush is a warm copper. Cherish, Cherish is cranberry colors. Um, Amore is rosy, and Ballad is a gunmetal cool tone palette. Um, I may pick up one or two of these, number one, just to see what they're going to be like, if it's going to be the same formula, and um, number two, just to have those smaller palettes. I like those. I don't want to repeat any color schemes that I have with the e.l.f. palettes or a whole lot of them, so I may pick up one or two. If I do, it'll probably be like a bronzy uh, neutral or the warm copper and the rosy. I've got enough cool tones. I've got a new cool tone palette coming in that I'm waiting on. So I think that that's good for, for now. Um, the next collection coming out is Mac and Sims. This is going to be a nine pan palette for $32. It's now available. Um, I'm not really interested in this. It's too light. This is just not it doesn't get me excited when I look at this. When I really look at this, I really wonder who is going to be into this. There may be a lot that wants it because it is Sims and be simply because it's MAC. But to me, it doesn't do anything for me. Next collection coming out is by Clinique. It is a cheek pop for $26. Um, it's, uh, that, um, go it's in Golden Celebration Pop. I think it has an ox to celebrate the uh, the year of the ox. And it's now available. This is something that I'm not interested in. I have a ton of highlights. So unless it's something that really catches my eye or that is really, really the bomb, I'm not really interested in getting it. Like I have one from Milk that's on my list. And it depends on that Anastasia one. If it turns out to be anything like the Amorese highlight, I'll probably pick it up. But other than that... I don't really need any new highlights. So the next thing on my list is from uh, Pat McGrath. So on 1-8, she has an ultra lip pencil in Bloodlust, which is a ruby red, and a matte lip shade um, that's coming out in Ellis. It's called Ellison 3, I think. This is going to be $55. I'm not really interested in that either. That's a little bit much for, um, I know it's for two products, but still that's a little bit much for me. The next thing is a Fenty product. Uh, it's a Balm Glass and Bright Red Orange Diamond Balm um, for $41. I'm not interested in that either. The next category has quite a bit of product, and this is the JLo Beauty line. It comes out on the 14th of January. She's got that J.Lo Glow Serum for $79, that Star Filter Highlight for $39, um, <clears throat> then the that Blockbuster Wonder Night for $58, the Limitless Glow Sheet Mask is one for $18 or three for $48, that Fresh Take Eye Cream with Peptides for $48, that big screen moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 30 is $54. $54. That hit single gel cream cleanser is $38. And that JLo four piece kit that's going to be especially at Sephora will be $64. I'm not really interested in any of this. Um, the price points really scare me off, first of all. And. None of it really just speaks to me, and I don't really know. I love J.Lo, but I don't really know what she knows about skincare for it to solidify those prices. I just feel like those prices are really a little bit too high. 
Um, the next collection is from e.l.f. It's the Mint Melt Collection, and it's a rather large collection as well, and it's already now available. Um, there is a No Budge Eyeshadow Stick for $5. Ice Cream, Melt With Me, and Mint For You Are The Colors. I'm not really interested in those. Um, I've seen some uh, reviews of the current eyeshadow sticks that just came out, and the reviews were not good, so I'm not going to touch those. Um, Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser for $8. It's a foam cleanser with a vanilla scent, and it gives a cooling sensation. That I do want to try. There is a Cleansing Cloud for $4, kind of like the Halo uh, Beauty Removers, and these are limited edition. Um, I'm not interested in those. I have a whole thing of um, Halo Beauties, and I love those. Uh, whipped Ice Face Mask for $8. Moisturizing Cooling with Vitamin E. Um, I'm going to skip on that. They do have a cooling face primer for $8. It's gel. It's hydrating and has HAs and antioxidants in it. I am interested in that. The eyeshadow pans, they have two more of the five pan eyeshadows. These time, this time they're $4. I think they were three before, but there's two of them. One is meant to be and the other one is chocolate mint. I would like to try those. And there are some mint melt glosses for $4. They're high shine, hydrating, and plumping vanilla mint scent. One of them is a hint of mint. The other one is mint chocolate, chocolate chip, and mint sparkle. I don't really care about that either. And there's also a trio brush set for $8. And of course, I've got enough brushes, so I'm not interested in that. So I do want to pick up probably about half of that collection. Um, about Face is a new brand from Halsey that's coming out. And I have looked at it, and I am quite intrigued by a few of the items. I was going to order some things, and I thought, no, I'm going to just wait, because it doesn't ship out till either the 25th or the 15th, and I don't remember exactly what day. But she has some Light Lock Highlight Fluids for $32. Um, they're called Fight or Flight, which is an icy pink. Excuse me, Shaken or Stern, which is a pale gold. She has some of the cutest names. Um, Starstruck, which is a bronze. So those are your three uh, fluid highlighters. Then there is a light lock powder for $30. Her prices are pretty good. Um, these are called the Bliss, which is a golden pearl. Uh, Stay in Bed, which is a pale pink. Smother, which is a silver lavender. And Light Spun, which is a soft bronze. Then there is a light lock stick. For $25, she has a Reluctance, which is a peachy amber. That sounds really pretty. A Greek Tragedy, which is champagne. Please Indulge Me, which is a soft pink. Then there is a Light Lock Lip Gloss for $20. In the colors Prelude, Such Great Heights, Please Obey, and Peyton. Then she has a Paint It Matte Lip Color for $22. This comes in Take Aim, which is a red wine. So Long Summer, which is a rosewood color. Slumber, which is a rose beige. Ask Nicely, which is a pale pink. Um, Nudist, Nudist Judas, which is a burnt beige. And is it Contrary Tale? Cautionary Tale. I couldn't read my own writing. Cautionary Tale, which is a plum. Then, I, I know that's not all. No, okay. Sorry. She also has matte fluid eye paints. These are the ones that I'm interested in. For $24, there are some beautiful colors in here. So, Lost and uh, lost Unfound is Midnight Blue. Uh... I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right or not. It's D-I-O-N-Y-S-U-S. -S. So, that's it. Soft Orchid. Cloned is Terracotta. White Noise, which is a white. Smell Before Rain, which is nude. Smoke Signal, which is deep green. And then she has a matte fix lip pencil for $17. Lost Time. Paper Romance. Cradle. Pink in the Morning, Madness, Clockwork, and, shadow, and uh, 
Clockwork is a burnt beige. Plum is madness. Pale pink is the pink in the morning. Rose beige is cradled. Rose wood is paper romance. Lost in time is a red wine. She also has shadow sticks, which I'm interested in. Chaos Theory is a pearly pollen. Inferno is a pearly ginger. Broke is a pearly pink ice. Ox, um, Oxide is a matte white. 2002 is a pearly cloud blue. Acidic is pearly chestnut. No, chartreuse, sorry. And Kill the Lights is a matte black. And Creature is matte robin's egg blue. She also has a matte fixing spray for $28, which you can set and prime your face with. She has a finger blender for $14 and a limited edition cosmetic bag for $17. So it's a very large line that she's come out with. Um, Physicians Formula has some new things available. They're available now at Rite Aid and Walmart. They have the matte Moni Butter Bronzer for $13.99 and it is water resistant. They also have the All-Star Face Palette for $17.99. It has the Matte Moni Bronzer, a Butter Bronzer, a uh, Mortal Glow Pearls, a Multicolored Powder, Rose All Day Petal Glow, and a Happy Booster Glow. And I am interested in those, and I'm hopefully going to go to the store today and find those, because I've not been very lucky in finding it. So that is all for my Will I Buy It this week. I feel like it was a ton for my first one. I don't know if I'll do this weekly or monthly, um, but there's a lot coming out right now. So um, I feel like monthly is probably going to be better my speed. So we'll just have to see how it goes. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my thoughts and what I'm going to buy. And... Of course, I'll come back and let you know what I did buy. And I'm sure there's probably going to be things that I pick up that I said I wouldn't. Or things that I said I would that I don't pick up. You know how it goes. But I thank you guys for spending your um, time with me and watching this video. Love you. God bless.